Jesus reveals the Antichrist. Jesus, the Lamb of God, is the only one worthy to open the scroll and the only one worthy to look inside and the only one worthy to reveal the Antichrist. The word Antichrist has two components, anti and Christ. Anti means opposed to, against, to fight. Christ, the title comes from the Greek word Christos, which translates to the Hebrew word Mashiach, Messiah, meaning the Anointed One of God. The Antichrist opposes and fights the Anointed One of God. What did the Anointed One of God do that so upsets the Antichrist? We know from Matthew chapter 5, Jesus preached the Sermon on the Mount. We know from John chapter 2, Jesus turned water into wine. But this is not the mission of why Jesus came into the world. These are simply signs that Jesus gave to show that he was the Anointed One. He was the true Son of God. We are told in John chapter 2 verse 11 that Jesus gave signs that those who see them would believe in him. What Jesus did here in Cana of Galilee was the first of the signs through which he revealed his glory and his disciples believed in him. The Antichrist does not fight against the signs that Jesus gave. The Antichrist opposes and fights the mission of Jesus. This is a spiritual war and the Antichrist vehemently opposes and fights the mission of why Jesus came into the world. More than once, Jesus tells us what his mission is. For example, in Mark chapter 10, verse 45, Jesus said, For even the Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve, and to give his life as a ransom for many. Yes, Jesus gave his life as a ransom for many. This is the sacrifice from God that allows humans to be reconciled back to God. This is the only sacrifice God has ever offered. Jesus makes this clear in John chapter 3, verses 14 to 15. Jesus said, Just as Moses lifted up the snake in the wilderness, so the Son of Man must be lifted up, that everyone who believes may have eternal life in him. Humans may offer grain sacrifices and animal sacrifices, and these have to be repeated over and over again. God gave us one time the sacrifice of his Son that is sufficient for all. The Antichrist opposes and fights the sacrifice of God, Jesus Christ on the cross. And the Bible tells us this very thing. This spirit tries to take away the sacrifice from God. The angel Gabriel told Daniel that the words were sealed until the time of the end. Only Jesus can reveal the meaning of Daniel. Here is what the angel first tells Daniel about this spirit. This spirit that opposes Jesus Christ and tries to take away the sacrifice of God. Out of one of them came another horn, which started small, but grew in power to the south and to the east and toward the beautiful land. It grew until it reached the host of the heavens, and it threw some of the starry host down to the earth and trampled on them. It set itself up to be as great as the commander of the army of the Lord. This spirit actually claimed to be God. It took away the daily sacrifice from the Lord, and his sanctuary was thrown down. Because of rebellion, the Lord's people and the daily sacrifice were given over to it. It prospered in everything it did, and truth was thrown to the ground. What truth was thrown to the ground? The truth that Jesus is the Son of God, that Jesus is the sacrifice and the oblation, and that Jesus' crucifixion is the only path for eternal life. This spirit tried to take those away. Yes, God's sanctuary was thrown down. The Dome of the Rock, the shrine dedicated to the spirit that opposes the atoning sacrifice of Jesus Christ, the oblation, sits directly on top of the Holy of Holies. Daniel was confused, and so the angel gave him more information. In the latter part of their reign, when the rebels have become completely wicked, a fierce-looking king, a master of intrigue, will arise. 
He will become very strong, but not by his own power. He will cause astounding devastation and will succeed in whatever he does. He will destroy those who are mighty, the holy people. He will cause deceit to prosper, and he will consider himself superior. When they feel secure, he will destroy many and take his stand against the prince of princes. Yet he will be destroyed, but not by human power. Then for the third time, Daniel was told that this vision is sealed. Daniel 8.26 The vision of the evenings and mornings that has been given you is true, but seal up the vision, for it concerns the distant future. Yes, Daniel was told three times that these words are sealed until the time of the end. Only Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God, is worthy to open the scroll and to look inside. All of the men who have tried to interpret this on their own have been wrong. This is why Jesus says on the day that he returns, all of the prophecy experts will deny that they even gave any prophecy. Zechariah 13 verses 4 and 5. On that day, every prophet will be ashamed of their prophetic vision. They will not put on a prophet's garment of hair in order to deceive. Each will say, I am not a prophet. I am a farmer. The land has been my livelihood since my youth. Time after time, their prophetic views are wrong. This causes atheists and skeptics to doubt the Bible. But the Bible is perfectly accurate. Jesus reveals that Revelation chapter 5 makes clear, only Jesus is worthy to open the scroll or even look inside it. Verse 1, Then I saw in the right hand of him who sat on the throne a scroll with writing on both sides and sealed with seven seals. And I saw a mighty angel proclaiming in a loud voice, Who is worthy to break the seals and open the scroll? But no one in heaven or on earth or under the earth could open the scroll or even look inside it. I wept and wept because no one was found who was worthy to open the scroll or look inside. Then one of the elders said to me, Do not weep. See, the Lion of the tribe of Judah, the Root of David, has triumphed. He is able to open the scroll and its seven seals. Then I saw a lamb, looking as if it had been slain, standing at the center of the throne, encircled by the four living creatures and the elders. The lamb had seven horns and seven eyes, which are the seven spirits of God sent out into all the earth. He went and took the scroll from the right hand of him who sat on the throne. And when he had taken it, the four living creatures and the twenty-four elders fell down before the Lamb. Each one had a harp, and they were holding golden bowls full of incense, which are the prayers of God's people. And they sang a new song, saying, You are worthy to take the scroll and open its seals, because you were slain, and with your blood you purchased for God persons from every tribe and language and people and nation. You have made them to be a kingdom and priests to serve our God, and they will reign on the earth. The Bible tells us the Antichrist is a spirit, not a man. Listen only to the teachings of Jesus and not those that sell prophecy books. Dear friends, do not believe every spirit, but test the spirits to see whether they are from God, because many false prophets have gone out into the world. This is how you can recognize the Spirit of God. Every spirit that acknowledges that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh is from God. But. Every spirit that does not acknowledge Jesus is not from God. This is the spirit of the Antichrist, which you have heard is coming and even now is already in the world. Jesus reveals we can identify a spirit that many think is God that has already come into the world. This spirit gave the world a false text about Jesus. In this text, this spirit cannot acknowledge the name of Jesus. Instead, he gives a new name to Jesus, calling him Issa.
The Apostle Paul, writing to the Philippians, explains why this spirit is so angry, angry that it would have to bow at the name of Jesus, and therefore gives Jesus a new name so he does not have to bow. Philippians 2 verses 9 to 11 Therefore God exalted him to the highest place and gave him the name that is above every name, that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow, in heaven and on earth and under the earth, and every tongue acknowledge that Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of God the Father. The very words of this spirit in the Quran tell us why he is so afraid of the name of Jesus, why he will not bow. He wants all glory for himself. I am Allah, there is no God besides me, so worship me and establish prayers to remember me. The second reason the Antichrist spirit is so angry is that Jesus made a public spectacle of them. Colossians 2 verse 15, and having disarmed the powers and authorities, he made a public spectacle of them, triumphing over them by the cross. Jesus made a public spectacle of this Antichrist spirit when he triumphed over the cross. The Antichrist spirit has no choice but to then say that it never happened. The third reason the Antichrist spirit is so angry is because it has no path of redemption. Jesus, with his sacrifice on the cross, gives eternal life to those human souls that believe. But the fallen spirits have no path for redemption, and this makes them very angry. Jesus reveals in Revelation chapter 19 what will happen to this Antichrist spirit and his false prophet, Muhammad. But the beast was captured, and with it the false prophet who had performed the signs on its behalf. With these signs he had deluded those who had received the mark of the beast and worshipped its image. The two of them were thrown alive into the fiery lake of burning sulfur. Jesus could not be more clear. And this is what angers the Antichrist spirit. All of those who face Mecca to pray, all of those who worship the Kaaba in Mecca, to this spirit they believe to be God. Jesus says they will be thrown into the lake of fire. If you are Muslim or have a Muslim friend, tell them to read Revelation chapter 14. Jesus reveals this is what they need to know. Revelation 14 verses 9 to 10. A third angel followed them and said in a loud voice, If anyone worships the beast and its image and receives its mark on their forehead or on their hand, they too will drink the wine of God's fury, which has been poured out full strength into the cup of his wrath. They will be tormented with burning sulfur in the presence of the holy angels and of the Lamb. Jesus has revealed all this in the last days, so that both believers and non-believers will not be deceived. But make no mistake, the time is short. Learn the resurrection truths while there is still time. The many truths of Jesus will show you the path to eternal life. There is no other way. More than 500 people saw the risen Jesus. 500 eyewitnesses. Jesus perfectly fulfilled 351 Old Testament prophecies. This is not by chance. It is an absolute mathematical certainty that Jesus is who he said he was, the risen Son of God. 